Hello, my name is Vaikuntan Rajaratnam, and today we're going to look at the fractures of the terminal phalanx. Fractures of the terminal phalanx are one of the commonest fractures to occur, and they usually unite with no problems requiring no intervention. Occasionally, fractures of the terminal phalanx can go into non-union, as in this case, in a construction worker who for six months was unable to return to work because of pain uh, in his tips of the middle and ring finger when he carried heavy objects and was on uh, sick leave for this period of time. Obviously, you can see very clearly here that there is non-union with sclerosis of the fracture edges and this can produce painful symptoms and for which he required further intervention. In this case, the election was to perform a open reduction and internal fixation of the middle finger's terminal phalanx as it was a sizable chunk of terminal phalanx that was gone into non-union and this was augmented with uh, synthetic bone graft, in this case BIOS. As can be seen here, two months post-operation, the fracture has united and the patient has recovered from the symptoms. It can be clearly seen that the results are very good as the terminal phalanx has got no moving structures around it. The approach has been one using a radial approach just under the nail, a hockey stick incision as shown, and this uh, allows for adequate exposure of the fracture fragment without disturbing the nail bed. And in this case, we elected to excise the fragment of the bone in the uh, ring finger. The fixation was performed using a 1.3 plate uh, with two screws as a bridging plate. Fractures of the terminal phalanx involving the distal interphalangeal joints are not uncommon and usually seen as a bony mallet or a flexure digitorum profundus avulsion injury of the terminal phalanx. We reviewed some of our cases which we had performed a technique of open, open reduction and internal fixation of these fractures. In this technique, we followed that as uh, first described by Mr. Tio Lam Chuan from Singapore and we used a 1.3 plate from the compact handset which we devised uh, by cutting off uh, two holes and then removing a segment from the one of the holes to provide a hook as shown in the diagram. And this was used as a tension band technique to hold the avulsed fragment of the terminal phalanx in a bony mallet and this was then secured using a 1.3 screw as shown. Here are some of the radiographic representation in this paper of how we achieved union and it can be clearly seen here in a bony fragment where more than 30% uh, of the bone has evolved off and there is a theoretical uh, risk of developing osteoarthritis in the terminal phalanx and in the principles of fixation of intraarticular fracture was anatomical reduction and stable fixation with early mobilization. Here you can see how that has been achieved with a nice congruent joint and the fixation with a screw and a good union occurring in within two months. In this slide, we see a case where there is an avulsion fracture of the base of the P3 due to a flexor digitorum profundus avulsion, and this has produced an unstable joint. The joint has been reduced and the plate has been applied as a tension band across the fragment uh, with the same technique, which is called the 1.3 hook plate technique. Here you see the range of movement at 10 days post-op of the DIP joint, which can be encouraged to be done actively as the fixation is very firm with the use of the hook plate in the previous case. The learning points in this case is that most P3 factors will unite with conservative management and requires no further uh, intervention. The open reduction and internal fixation of the terminal phalanx fractures are possible and you can expect good results. 
and this can be done easily done under local anesthesia and good exposure can be obtained with the J-shaped hockey stick incision in the lateral nail fold. And uh, we encourage that this be done with good practice and the use of magnification and with the availability of a 1.3 implants. Uh, otherwise, KYs can be used, but they are much more difficult to hold and have the problems of K-wire uh, that they carry.